Now the last type of parent function that we're going to look at in this chapter is a rational function and that parent function is of the form y equals 1 over x. And its rules work the same way. We can tell our translation by finding our central point, which is right here at negative 2, negative 1. We check for stretch by going over 1 and seeing how far we have to go up. So since I here I have to go when I go over one, I'm not going up one, I'm going up a half. That means I have a stretch of 0 0.5. And our parent function here has the top right corner and the bottom left corner, so there's no types of reflection. Just a stretch and a translation. So that means our final equation here is going to be y equals now our stretch is going to go on top of our fraction which we said was 0 0.5 and that left Two means we add 2 on the inside. Now on the inside in this form means with the x in the denominator. And then our minus 1 on the outside brings us down 1. So basically to summarize, inside is in the denominator, outside is out of the fraction altogether. And if there is a stretch, it will be in our numerator, but if there's not a stretch, that would be, be considered a stretch value of one. It would just be a one up top. And then obviously any reflections would result in a negative either out front or down below with the x. Now we do have a couple of practice problems here at the bottom of our page. So why don't you start with number one, and when you are ready to check your answer, unpause the video. What you should have noticed is that our function here is centered at 0, 0, which means we don't have any translations, but that first our functions are in the opposite quadrants of the parent function. Usually we're in the top right and bottom left, which means we have a reflection over the y-axis. And secondly, we also have a stretch when we go over one from our starting point, we go down five. So that means our vertical stretch has to be five. Now go on to example two and unpause when you're ready to check. Now if you look at the equation, this minus two on the inside which is, you know, in the denominator, means we have to go right to this minus three on the outside means we go down three. So when we go right to down three, that is our central point, and that's going to allow us to draw in our two halves of our function. So we're gonna go over one, up one, and that's gonna be our first point in this direction, and then down one, back one, to find our first point in the other direction. And we can never cross the asymptote formed by an x value of 2 or the asymptote formed by a y value of negative 3. That central point is where our asymptotes cross. So now to draw on our function, we know we have no stretch, so our points should be up 1 over 1. and look something like that. 